Hello everyone, this is Aisha Sunar and I'm going to present you Mentimeter today. Mentimeter is a website, a web service helping us create more interactive participation in classroom and online classes. So this is a free website, but there are some premium features as well. So you can use you know, unlimited audience, unlimited presentations for free, but some other uh, features are for paid plans. To sign up, click on sign up button and you can sign up with your Facebook or Google account so you can use your email. I'm going to log in with my Google account now and it usually takes just a second. So you see on the left your presentations, templates and tutorials. Templates are readily available templates so you can see different kinds of slides with different backgrounds and and all the fancy stuff and the tutorials are you know how to create presentation how to vote on the presentation like a uh, basic tutorials so go to your presentation I'm going to create a new folder let's name it as MOOCs for digital pedagogy and create folder you go in it so there are no uh, presentations yet you click on new presentations and name it digital pedagogy and you create a new presentation an empty page comes up and you need to select presentation type so there are different options like multiple choice questions word clouds open-ended questions scales working question and answers and others so i'm going to choose word cloud today and i'm going to set for example three keywords for digital pedagogy. So I said three, but you can increase it or decrease it. And you can add an image, it is optional. And you can let participants submit multiple times. It is up to your preferences. I usually prefer not. You can customize the background, like you can enable voting or disable, and you can decide where to put um, the image or remove it altogether. You can uh, lower the text size or uh, make it bigger. Maybe this is better for accessibility. And you can use some other colors, but this is a premium uh, option. When you are done with your presentation, you need to decide how you are going to present it in your class. So um, one of the good things about Mentimeter is you can actually embed it into your PowerPoint presentation. So this is an empty PowerPoint presentation. First, you need to add the uh, Mentimeter add-in. So click on Get Add-ins and type Mentimeter and it comes out. So you need to click on Add. So next time when you want to embed your presentation, go to my add-ins and click on Mentimeter. Mentimeter. So uh, copy your presentation link here and then select. So I'm going to copy the uh, link and go to the presentation and paste it and select it. So it embeds the presentation, your Menti presentation, and generate a code here. So you can copy the link, and if you click on that icon, so you can reload it, for example. Sometimes we you know, lost our internet connection and etc. You can delete it, and you can get yeah, support and etc. So uh, when students go to their device and open a uh, browser, they need to go to menti.com and just enter this um, code. So once they jump in, we are going to see the number of students here, number of participants. And when they start typing the answer, you will see the submitted answers here. So when you are done with the presentation, you will get an email. The email says the results from your presentation is ready and you can view it. The result page shows the summary of the participation. So 
for example, this say 20 participants joined and there are two active walls and there are one slide. So you can see the answers as well. If you want to export it to an Excel, you need to upgrade, upgrade your account, but you can download the PDF free. So the free PDF shows the results, like these are the students' answer. So the PDF is not the only way to view your results. If you go to your presentations, just click on which one do you want to see. And you see there is a manage results section. So you can reset the results for the entire presentation or just for one slide and you can reuse it for another class. So Mentimeter presentations can be used in the beginning of the class or during the class. And you can ask questions to recall what you just said, or you can ask questions to understand what they already know. Or you can use Mentimeter slides at the end of the class and ask just one sentence, what, what you understand from uh, today's class. Uh, it's a very uh, simple way to drag students up and especially in online classes and um, if the cameras are turned off and um, it is very difficult to understand if students are following if they are motivated so it is a very good tool to uh, cope up with that kind of uh, problems so this was a very simple uh, introduction to Mentimeter I hope you benefited thank you